Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am back with a Firewall Zero Hour news update yet again. So yesterday was Firewall Friday as you might have known, which meant there was a new blog post up on the First Contact Entertainment official blog. This one was from Damon Shabasteri and it focuses on the new DLC number 2 that's coming very soon. And I do mean very soon as Damon reveals that it will be coming on the 20th of November, that is this coming Tuesday, that is just three days away from where I am anyway. So very exciting and of course very, very moist. So it looks like Beat Saber is going to have to wait a little bit for me. But that's not all that Damon said. Now this point here is revealing if you pay close attention to what he says, so I'll read the whole quote. So he says, We got some really exciting stuff as we approach the holidays. The team is working hard to finalize the next DLC drop. That doesn't mean we turn a blind eye to addressing issues in the game while we continue to expand our universe. From here to the holidays, our focus is directed at building on what we released and setting up our path to take Firewall Zero Hour to exciting directions in the year ahead. So basically what he is saying here is just because they are making DLC doesn't mean they aren't also working on the known issues and improving what's already been released. But more than that, he says that from now until the holidays, they're going to be focusing on what's already been released. And to me, that means they aren't going to be working on any new DLC until after the Christmas holidays and that they'll instead be working on squash and bugs improving the networking, making quality of life improvements, stuff like that. At least that's how it reads to me. So if you're one of those people that's worried that First Contact Entertainment are only working on cosmetic DLCs to sell to us instead of things that actually matter like fixes, I don't think that's the case at all. And that seems to be what Damon is saying here. Now another interesting thing Damon said that got me wondering is right at the very end and I'll quote, we can confirm that DLC number two is headed to the PlayStation Store next week. Check the PS Store on Tuesday, November 20th to see this fresh content drop which includes a brand new contractor, new weapons, new camo and more. Now notice how he doesn't mention a new map at all. Now he does say and more which could definitely include a new map or maps but I feel like you'd want to put that front and center alongside the new contractor. Is it just my imagination or was it a bit odd for him not to say maps too if there is going to be maps? Anyway that's not all he mentions he talks about how some of us have been dissecting the teaser trailer for DLC 2 and that some of us are on the mark and some of us have missed some stuff that's right under our noses. I can't help but feel like I've missed something. I've already met two videos about this DLC teaser, but let me just briefly go over some other stuff that maybe is important, but that I didn't think it was, or that you guys pointed out to me, just in case. Just in case, you never know, you know? So one of the big things I've heard back from some of you is that I've disregarded the first set of screens. The ones that show Tariq and the number 2 as well as a map of the world that has been marked with dots. So the reason I ignored these screens is because they just seem irrelevant to me. I don't think Tariq being there means anything, I don't think the number 2 or 0 2 means anything because we've seen that stuff, we've been seeing that stuff since before the game even released and it seems to be just a texture that goes over the wrist tablets of your teammates and enemies. I mean the next time you play the game, look at your teammates wrist tablets and it'll have the same screen, it doesn't show the radar, except for some reason it says 01 instead of 02 which is what all the promotional stuff says for some reason, I don't understand why that is. But what about the world map with the marked locations? Well the main reason I ignored that is because I simply think it's too good to be true that there will be 5 to 6 maps included in this new DLC number two and that if there was five to six maps included then I think you know First Contact Entertainment would be shouting that from the rooftops 
in the community blogs, stuff like that, instead of being very quiet about it. The other screens then are just kind of random, you know, there's like graphs, there's like an audio wave type thing, and pie charts, and if you zoom in on that stuff, you can't read any of the text, so it just doesn't make any sense. So that's why I ignored the first set of screens. Now there's some more stuff too that I never touched on relating to the contractor herself. One of the things you guys repeatedly told me is that she has a satchel type thing on her back and that maybe this was the big clue that was right under my nose the whole time. Maybe this is what indicates that she can carry two C4s more than anything else. Although if you ask me, I don't know how she's supposed to reach that little satchel out there. The way it's the way it's positioned on her back would be very difficult to reach, I think. Maybe her teammates can go up to her and resupply their explosives or something like that. I don't know. That's a wild guess on my part. Do not take that when I need I mean, just take that with all the salt. All of the salt. Another thing that one of you guys pointed out to me a few days ago now, and sorry I can't remember who it was, was that if you pay close attention to both of her arms, she actually has a wrist tablet on both of them. And both of them display the default text slash image of 02. Now I find it fairly strange that she has two wrist tablets to be honest. And it could be a clue or a hint. Maybe this is the big clue we've been missing. Or maybe it's just an oversize and maybe it means nothing. I, who knows? I can't think of why two wrist tablets would be beneficial off the top of my head unless one of them does, has a completely different function. But I don't know what that could be. So let me know what you guys think about all of that in the comments below. Now lastly, Damon also mentioned that Firewall is up for an award for best VR game at the Game Awards. So please, please, please go check it out and vote for Firewall if you got a chance. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also be sure to check out the official Firewall Zero Hour subreddit which I'll also link below. And with that I'll end this video lads and ladies. First Contact Entertainment have really gotten me scratching my head over this damn teaser trailer. But we don't have to wait too long to find out the truth. Until then, speculate away in the comments below if you enjoyed this vid and please consider doing all the usual moist shies and I'll see you in the next one, so bye for now.